In this video, I'm going to recommend some books on systems engineering and systems thinking uh, that are worth your time, uh, in my opinion. So the first book is my favorite single volume text when I teach systems engineering. It's Kasiakoff and Sweet. I think it's a great one volume introduction to systems engineering. Uh, the slight flaw that it has is he has his own non-standard process, but I think it resonates well with a lot of students, and I think it's fairly readable compared to some other systems engineering texts out there. I'm a big fan of uh, Tim Wilkins' model-based systems architecture. Uh, it has serious ties to his functional architecture for systems method, and it's pretty much aligned with how I model. Uh, I think it's probably one of the best uh, system modeling books available today and is well worth your time as a systems architect. I referenced this book in another one of my videos, but the Design of Design, again, highly recommended as far as systems engineering and architecture goes. Uh, very readable short essays, inexpensive, readily available, and just a general great read. This is my favorite book on modularity. Uh, it's by Carlos Baldwin and Kim Clark. I think it's the best systems engineering book I've ever read that was written by economists. Uh, they're from MIT, and it has a lot of great content about modularity, uh, a lot of great sound bites, and a lot of great thinking. So well worth your time if you're interested in partitioning systems. Model-Based Systems Engineering uh, by Patrice McQuan has some very interesting thoughts about requirements, making it my favorite requirements texts. I think that a lot of his theories are going to help uh, transform how we handle requirements as we move to more model-based approaches in systems engineering. Uh, so I don't know how widespread this book is, but uh, I really encourage you to uh, consider it and uh, and take a look at it. It's got some very interesting proofs of uh, feasibility versus requirement size and some other content, so well worth your time. This is a recent book on systemic thinking. Uh, I think it's uh, very readable and uh, has a great uh, great set of discussions about problems and messes and wicked problems and a lot of the, uh, the things that some of us in systems take for granted. Uh, it's a great introduction to the topic uh, for people that are so inclined. So uh, that's my favorite uh, systems thinking text. Some other books that are worthy of note, uh, Meyer and Recton's Art of Systems Architecting. It's a classic. Uh, it did a lot to define the discipline, but unfortunately it doesn't have much content about how to actually go about doing it. Uh, it's mostly the what and not the how, but uh, it does have some good content and some good thoughts, and if it's not in your personal library, it should be. Also worthy of note is Charles Wasson's Systems Engineering book. It's a magnum opus. Uh, he's re recently released a second edition that's been revised for readability. Uh, has color, a lot of good content. Uh, I read the first one and commented on it. I haven't had a chance to read the second edition yet, but I'm sure if it's up to Charles' standards, it's well worth your time. I will point out that <clears throat> I appreciate Charles' work. I don't think he fully appreciates uh, the potential of, of system modeling and what it can do for a systems engineer. So I think this is, is still a little heavier on the traditional side, but uh, you know I hope to, uh, to be surprised when I sit down to read it. Again, it's, it's, it is excellent content and uh, well worth your time. And another book, uh, Bill Miller and uh, Dennis Beattie, uh, Engineering Design of Systems, recently revised. Uh, the issue is that it's got a lot of IDEV0 content in it, as well as some SysML. And so uh, I, I consider some of that to be a detractor, or it makes it less desirable for teaching, because if you're doing a heavily SysML class like I do, um, having to tell the students to ignore the IDEV0 stuff uh, is, is not necessarily desirable. But uh, I've started reading this one recently, and it's got a lot of great thinking in it. So uh, they may win me over, uh, and I hope uh, that uh, the fourth edition will be more transformed, more towards SysML. So time will tell, but uh, definitely worth a read. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.